Welcome to Game Boy Custom. In today's video, we're going to show you how to Bluetooth mod your Game Boy Advance SP. For today's installation, you'll need a Game Boy, a Bluetooth circuit adapter, a regular and tri-wing screwdriver, some scissors, double-sided tape, thin gauge wire, a fine tip soldering iron and some solder. Next, you'll need to remove the screws. First, undo the battery cover and remove the battery. Then there's a screw located underneath the battery cover, one below the cartridge slot, two at the top near the trigger buttons, and two at the bottom. After unscrewing the screws, gently pry up the shell. There are three more screws holding the PCB in place. Now gently remove the ribbon cable holding the LCD screen in place. There are clips in each corner that must be pushed up and gently pull the ribbon cable forward. Next use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the hinge cover. We will be placing the Bluetooth circuit adapter behind the LCD screen. So we now must remove the back plate to the shell. There are three screws located at the top and two screws at the bottom. Next, with a fine tip solder iron and thin wire, you'll need to solder points to plus five volt, P ground, in L, in R, A ground, and COM. We decided to use 36 AWG colored wire for this build. Once soldered, your Bluetooth adapter should look something like this. We marked and colour coded the wires for easy installation. We also allowed for adequate length of wiring. Next cut off a piece of double sided tape to mount the Bluetooth adapter to the rear of the LCD screen. Feed the wires through the rear of the shell, then mount the back plate. Now refit the hinge cover. First point to solder on the Bluetooth circuit to the Game Boy PCB is the TP2, which is the select button which allows you to turn on and off the Bluetooth adapter. Then solder INT L and INT R to SO1 and SO2.
Now it's time to refit the PCB back into the Game Boy Advance shell. The next point to solder on the Bluetooth circuit board is 5 volt plus. This is pin 1 on the Game Boy Advance PCB. Finally, the last two solder points, ground and A ground, can be soldered directly to the shielding. Now it's time to refit the shell and test the Bluetooth adapter. Once tested, it's now time to reassemble the shell. The great thing about this mod is the Game Boy speaker and the Bluetooth speakers have separate volume control. The volume on the Game Boy Advance is still controlled by the volume slider on the side of the console, while the Bluetooth audio volume is controlled by the Bluetooth speakers or your Bluetooth headset. To use your Bluetooth enabled Game Boy, simply turn on the console, turn on your Bluetooth speaker or headset, and hold down the select button on your Game Boy Advance to pair. Bluetooth mode, waiting for connection. Connected. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe.